Howdy folks. Today's Monday, December 30th, 2019. And this is a Bill of Peace 2020 update. I want to alert you first before I get into some information that I can share with everybody on the internet. Those who have opted in, who have already scanned their opt-in papers and emailed them to us, be looking in your email for a notice from us. This has always been a team effort as far as the settlement, to get the best settlement that we can possibly get. And you will be instructed, you will find information and a link to a video that will instruct you on how you can help in the other avenue, well, there's, there's always been since the beginning, a second avenue for settlement of the arbitration order. One way which has been communicated the most has been the legislative bill on the private side. However, there is, as you know, another option. Okay, And that other option is already in the works. And your help is going to be greatly appreciated. Um, like I say, it's a team effort. So be looking for an email. Uh, if you don't get it in two to four days, maybe check your spam folder. Uh, quite often, something I'm supposed to get is, is there and and I forget about it. So, you know, check your spam folder. Now, as far as where we are presently in the opt-in deadline and boots on the ground in Washington, D.C., as you folks know, we had a postponement early on simply because we had more opt-ins in a shorter period of time than what we expected. And to be honest with you, we weren't quite prepared for that. We didn't have a question email for people who had questions. And of course, there are questions, and that's understandable. Uh, it is truly a simple uh, situation of contract law. However, I think mainly just because of uh, how we've been conditioned to view government, our role in it, um, their authorities and everything, uh, we, we have been conditioned to be compliant. And that's one of the hardest things to overcome is, is what you've been, uh, you know, what you've thought over a period of time. So anyway, so it was postponed to December and January for opt-in and boots on the ground, respectively. Because of the um, dysfunctional government that we have, if you cannot communicate with both the House and the Senate, then you're not going to be able to uh, effectuate a settlement of the arbitration order. And the Senate has not scheduled anything in January. So we cannot depend on seeing them until we know that they have scheduled something. So when that happens, you will get a two week prior notice of the opt-in deadline and the, the complete scheduling that uh, will be involved in that. So be checking the website and scheduling updates will be under announcements. So there won't be on the home page a scheduling updates page. Just go to announcements and that will send you to scheduling updates. Be checking that frequently. Two week notice promised, two week prior notice we promised. And uh, I hope you folks have had um, family time, I hope uh, that, uh, I pray that in 2020 uh, we have, we find some, some peace, uh, some responsible, righteous uh, changes in, in, in government. We are watchmen on the wall. This is not to bring down the government. It, it couldn't possibly bring down the government, but it puts the government on notice. 
and why should you be party to a contract that is being voided by the other side? So there you go. We have a contract. Uh, you folks are opting into that contract and it's exciting. I hope you're excited. Uh, I pray that again, people do this for the right reason. I have uh, through the opt-ins been able to uh, be assured that most people see this as a spiritual endeavor and that's important because if if the promises of our creator if our creator is, is not who he says he is and his promises aren't good then what's it all about alfie okay so god bless catch you later and be looking for that email Amen. Bye.